Good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Xiao Feng, and I'll be covering introduction on behalf of my group for this presentation. Now that you, you had your quick introduction on what is Kiasuism in the academics, let's move on now to the competitiveness of Kiasuism literature. Before we proceed further, I would just like to reiterate the point covered by the quick introduction just now, which is that Kiasuism actually has both positive and negative effects. As observed by Leo in his 1995 article, the Kiasu person often excels because they want to win. They scan the environment for opportunities and take quick advantage of them in their strive to excel. But, on the other hand, when this competitive spirit manifests itself into an extreme desire to win, it can make the person overly aggressive and thus cause negative effects. Kirby and Ross in 2007, in their attempt to understand Kiasuism as a construct, compared Kiasuism to a known construct called hypercompetition. However, they were quick to realize that hypercompetition in nature is actually a form of maladaptive behavior, whereas Kiasuism isn't. Kiasuism is best understood as a form of tactic, but when obsessive usage of it will result in the same detrimental effects as hypercompetition. Huang and Ezra in 2002 further defined Kiasuism in the two sub-constructs. Kiasu positive, which is the positive side of Kiasuism that leads to improved performance, such as test scores and peer evaluations. And on the other hand, Kiasu negative, which is the negative side that are detrimental actions which leads to negative outcomes, such as lowered task performances and unpopularity with peers. Moving on, the SEM model is the basis of our study. Conceptualized by Tessel in 1988, the SEM model postulates that when a performance in question is of low relevance to self with another, the self would experience social reflection and the resulting race in self-evaluation as it shares the success with that other. On the other hand, if the performance in question is of high relevance to self with another, the self would experience social comparison and the resulting decrease in self-evaluation as the self engages in a comparison process. The magnitude of these effects is determined by how close psychology the self and the other is, as well as how well performed the tasks are. In, an, in other words, closeness and performance affects magnitude of the SEM, whereas relevance determines the direction of the SEM. Now, using our, our understanding of both the SEM and Kiasuism, we are interested to find out how the inclusion of Kiasuism into the SEM model would outcome in. Kiasuism is a prevalent phenomenon in Singapore's corporate culture. From the literature, it suggests that Kiasu positive behaviors will lead to a better performance of employees, and yet equally likely for negative consequences should Kiasu negative behaviors be indulged in. Since Kiasuism involves competition with others, based on the SEM model, the social comparison should arise instead. Hence, incorporating Kiasuism into the SEM, this is our new proposed model. In this new model, social reflection will only occur in the event that relevance and Kiasuism is both low, where social comparison will take place in the other three instances. Namely, relevance low, Kiasu high, relevance high, Kiasu low, relevance high, Kiasu high. This amended model suggests that there is a higher tendency for Kiasu dominant cultures to engage in social comparison rather than, than social reflection. Therefore, our group hypothesized that high Kiasuism leads to a higher level of social comparison, with the fear of losing out to others propelling social comparison tendencies. Kiasu negative actions will thus be more prevalent, resulting in the use of gall and deceit in gaining competitive age edges. Hypothesis 2 is that in line with the initial SEM model, which is that high relevance will lead to higher level of social comparison than of low relevance. The initial SEM's model's results on relevance should be replicable under our new amended model just as well. Finally, hypothesis 3, where our group proposed that there will be an interaction effect between Kiasuism and relevance, as in high Kiasuism condition, relevance should have stronger effect on the degree of social comparison compared to low Kiasuism condition. The nature of Kiasu people being more afraid of losing out, coupled with tasks or performances that is of more relevance to them, 
should trigger a bigger social comparison response. They would be more alert on the threat and hence more ready for extreme measures in response. I shall now pass on the time to Sean, who will take you through the methods and results of our study. Thank you. Methods We had a sample size of 80 working adults in Singapore, of which there were 37 males and 43 females. Our sample was predominantly Chinese and relatively young. We made use of Quartrix to design and launch our online survey. We also made use of electronic means, such as MSN Messenger and email, to find participants for our study. We depended on SPSS for all our statistical analyses. In addition, we administered two questionnaires, namely the General Kiasuism Scale and our Modified Partner Scale. We decided to modify the original 20-item Partner Scale to 10-item Scale in order to make it relevant to our study. Additional questions were being posted on a 5-point scale to find out information such as their willingness to work with their colleagues. We managed to get all our participants through convenient sampling. One benefit of administering our survey through the internet would be to avoid any confounding effects of the gender of a survey administrator. We set our survey using false choice option to ensure our participants respond to every question before proceeding to the next one. This will actually help to prevent missing data from our final data sets. The flow of our survey was as followed. General Kiasuism Scale Random assignment of participants into either low relevance or high relevance condition Modified Pana Scale And some additional questions As for our experimental design, we adopted two-way between subjects and over for all our statistical analyses Results before proceeding with data analysis, we actually performed data exploration to check for any missing data and outlier. There was indeed missing age input for subject ID 24, but there was no outlier value. For our general Kiasuism scale, we reverse coded items 10 and 11 before creating a composite Kiasuism score, after which we did a median split of all our participants into either high Kiasuism or low Kiasuism groups. For our PANA scale, we created mean positive effect and negative effect scores using their relevant item scores. In our survey, there was a question. In comparison to yourself, rate the competence of your colleague. This measured relative perceived competency, which our group viewed it as a potential confounding variable. Hence, we wanted to control it. We ran a statistical analysis on this confounding variable, but found no significant main effects of relevance, which meant those in the high relevance condition did not differ significantly from those in the low relevance condition. From this slide, we could also see that there was insignificant main effects of chiasuism, meaning participants in the high chiasuism condition did not differ significantly from those in the low chiasuism condition we could see insignificant interaction effects between relevance and chiasuism on subjects' relative perceived competency of their colleagues. Since this potential confounding variable was not significant, we could exclude it from our subsequent analyses. For our data analyses, our focus will be on performing statistical tests on our complete data sets and drawing conclusions from our analyses. Also, we split our data sets into males and females sample and ran them separately. However, we would only be sharing selective findings from our study of gender that we deem interesting or when the respective findings deviated much from our complete data sets. Firstly, we started off our two-way between subjects ANOVA using mean positive effect score as DV. From this slide, we observed insignificant main effects of relevance insignificant main effects of chiasuism and insignificant interaction effect between relevance and chiasuism on mean positive effect scores. This was also the case for our males and females samples. 
However, when we run our analysis using mean negative effect scores as DV, we could observe significant main effect of relevance, telling us that those in the high relevance condition differ significantly from those in the low relevance condition. Also, there was significant main effects of chaosism, suggesting that participants in the high chaosism condition differ significantly from those in the low chaosism condition. Significant interaction effect was found too. When interaction effect was significant, we looked at its simple effects. We could represent our finding on mean negative effect scores using this graph as shown here. However, this was not the case for our male's sample. We only found similar finding for our female's sample. When we ran our analysis using willingness to work as DV, we could see that there was significant main effects of relevance, insignificant main effects of chaosism, and insignificant interaction effects between relevance and chaosism on subjects' willingness to work with their colleague. From this graph, we could see that our participants in the low relevance condition were more willing to help their colleagues than those in the high relevance condition. When we subset our data sets, similar finding was only found for our female sample, but not for our male sample. Using the degree of favorable feelings as DV, we found that there was insignificant main effects of relevance, insignificant main effects of chaosism, and insignificant interaction effects between relevance and chaosism on subjects' degree of favorable feelings towards their colleagues. Similarly, this was the case for our males and female samples. Lastly, when we used willingness to help as DV, we found that there was significant main effect of relevance, significant main effects of chaosism, and insignificant interaction effects between relevance and chaosism on subjects' willingness to help their colleagues. The graph on the left showed that Participants in the low relevance condition are more willing to help their colleagues than those in the high relevance condition. As for the graph on the right, we could see that for those in the low chaosism condition, they are in fact more willing to help their colleagues than those in the high chaosism condition. However, from our male sample, we only found significant main effects of relevance on male subjects' willingness to help their colleagues. From the graph on the left, we could see that male subjects in the low relevance condition were more willing to help their colleagues than those in the high relevance condition. As for our female's sample, we only found significant main effect of chaosism on female subjects' willingness to help their colleagues. Look at the graph on the right, we could see that female subjects in the low chaosism condition were more willing to help their colleagues than those in the high chaosism condition.